What is this resonance that everyone is talking about? Why do you need it and how do you get it? That's what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to Sing Geek. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun. Hi singers, my name is Ronya Peterson and I'm here to geek out on your voice. So if you're here today, you might be wondering what resonance really is, or maybe you've been trying to add that resonant tone to your voice and you're not sure if you're getting it right. My goal today is that by the end of this video, we've added some good resonance to your voice. But first, what is resonance? Sound waves travel through the air, and depending on the wavelength, if the wave is long or if the wave is short, they have different pitches. If the wavelength is long, we say that they have a low frequency because there's not room for very many waves in one second. But if the wave is short, then we have room for a lot of them and we say that they have a high frequency. An example of this is the pitch A4, which has a frequency of 440 waves per second, compared to the pitch A3, which only has a frequency of 220 waves per second. All objects have one or several natural frequencies, depending on how they're shaped and what they're made out of. And when a wave comes along that matches this natural frequency and it hits this object, it starts to vibrate or resonate. And this goes for all objects. It goes for pens, it goes for trees, plastic bottles, bridges, rubber ducks. You, you get the point. Um, and you might have seen opera singers trying to sing at classes so if they hit that natural frequency and, and it breaks the glass because it's resonating. Or maybe in rehearsal you've seen that when you're with your band and you're singing, you, your frequency matches the drum skin of the snare drum and it starts to rattle. That's also resonance. What this means for us singers is that our bones are what resonates the waves from your vocal folds. And you have these cavities uh, in your skull and in your throat, which picks up this resonance and it bounces around in there and it gets amplified and it gets sent out. We call these cavities your resonators. And we have some of them. One is here in the larynx, yeah? And there's one called the pharynx. And then there's your oral cavity and your nasal cavity. Those are your resonators. And depending how you shape those, you can get a really nice resonant sound in your voice. So why do we want this resonance in our voice? Well, we want it because it gives us a nice full tone without hurting our vocal folds. A lot of time when people are trying to emulate this uh, full sound, they'll push on their vocal folds and that strains them and it's really not good for you. So we want to add it with resonance above the vocal folds. It also helps your vibrato, um, it makes it sort of this like symbiotic relationship between your resonators and your vocal folds. So it's really nice. Um, once you get a little bit, you know, into your resonance, you can also have fun with manipulating it. So you can like lower your larynx a lot and have like very much a sound that is very, very like deep and round. Or you can send it up into your nasal cavity or send it really only like in your oral cavity. Hello, put some breathiness on it. Hello, I'm singing. Maybe I'm Lana Del Rey. So you can have a lot of fun with manipulating your resonance. But first, today, we're going to work on just adding good resonance to your voice. Then we can do a video later on tone manipulation uh, with your resonators. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. We're going to do two exercises. First, we're going to practice feeling the resonance. We're going to send your resonance to your nasal cavity and feel the resonance. And then in the second exercise, we're going to place your resonance, meaning we're going to put it and direct it in a place where it feels good in your voice so that you can start practicing it with your songs. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. Let's practice feeling the resonance. So what I want you to do is I want you to hum a note. And not just like a small note, like hum, but like a nice note. Hum, yeah, where you really feel everything is vibrating. And then I want you to feel it, feel it, especially in your nose, feel around, see if you can feel that resonance. Let's try it together. Hum. Yeah. Okay, so I definitely felt it here on my nose. A little bit here, out here, my lips were tingling. Um, you might have heard before some vocal teachers who say, place it in your mask, place your sound in your mask. And that's basically what they mean is like direct your vibration to your face to get that resonance. Dun, da, da, dun, dun. Let's practice placing your resonance. We don't want to just hear your beautiful hum. 
you want to hear your beautiful voice. So the first thing that I'm going to teach you guys is I'm going to teach you this sort of posture that's conducive to resonance. So we're going to lower our jaw like this. This pushes down the larynx a little bit uh, to make room here and it makes room in your oral cavity. Then we're going to do what we call the singer's smile. We're going to lift our, our, our eyebrows and we're going to sort of lift our cheeks like this. This makes your skin really nice and taut so that the sound can really bounce around uh, in your cavities. Uh, it's also really nice to create like a brighter sound. The last thing that I want you to do is that I want you to relax that tongue and place it uh, behind your bottom front teeth. Now we're going to hum a note and then we're going to open up sending the sound out and we're going to take that posture and when you do that I want you to focus on vibrating on your palate, on the roof of your mouth rather than your nose. Let's try that out. Hum. Yeah, I felt it right here on the roof of my mouth. I'm trying to send it out here, still feeling like there's vibration. I'm still sending out the sound, but it's not coming out of just the nose anymore. One more time. Hum. Right there, I felt it. Now, it's not going to be as intense as the vibration that you felt here before. It's going to be less, but there's going to be a little bit. And this is because you're not sending out like crazy amounts of vibration only here and feeling it in your nose. It's a little bit harder to feel it down here. Um, a lot of the times also just thinking about putting the sound helps you place the sound, yeah? Now in my experience, a lot of singers when they do this exercise, they end up putting the sound too, like a little bit too much in the oral cavity. I rather that, or personally, I rather send it a little bit further back so that I engage the pharynx a little bit more. Personally, I feel like this sort of ping <laughs> when I get this sound right. When I get it right where I want it, it's like everything goes like, ah, it shakes. Um, and I almost like feel like this sound of like deafness. Like some singers, they describe it as feeling a little bit deaf because it's sort of like you can feel it like almost ringing in your ears also. So that's like a lot of resonance. So experiment with placing it different places. Um, it doesn't have to sound really pretty when you're doing this. Like just try different things. Um, most of just like be relaxed. Yeah, don't try and force anything. I want to talk about a few things to look out for when you're doing this. Um, where you could be placing your resonance in places where it might doesn't not sound as good as you want it to. So the first thing is that a lot of people that tend to get nasal with their resonance can actually be a really good practice to put it in your nose for a while to feel how you like get it out of your vocal folds. But if you want to get rid of that nasal sound, what you got to do is raise your soft palate. I made a video about how to raise the soft palate and I will link to it right here. One thing to be also aware of with like when you're placing your sound is to be careful that you're not like sort of like putting it only here. Hello, right? Like that's like Kermit the Frog voice that we hear. Hello. Um, that's something that I hear sometimes that singers do to get sort of a more round tone. So be careful that you don't just like put it all down here. Try and direct it up yeah, a little bit more up here instead and uh, keep your tongue behind your bottom front teeth. A trick that some singers do to avoid this is that they'll like scrunch up their face. You might have seen it actually from singers when they're like belting out like a, a longer sort of note on like The Voice or American Idol that they're scrunching up their face. That's to kind of sort of direct the resonance in the right place. They go like, So uh, try that out too if you're feeling you're having a hard time getting it right here and it's like getting more in your nose or more down here or too far out front. Um, try scrunching up your face. That might help you too. Once you know what you're aiming for with your resonance, there's a ton of great and fun exercises that you can do to keep improving it and keep working on it. I will shoot those videos and I will link to them right here. But before you hit that button, hit the subscribe button here below. Join us here at SingGeek every week as we continue to geek out on your voice to create the sound that you want. See you next time.